Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Batwoman Season 2. We've got our first official look. We got some leaks from Episode 2 or 3, where they were filming out in Vancouver, and we've got our first look at Javicia Leslie. Also, because of all of this stuff getting out there, they release an official first look, like in studio, they took some photos the other day of Javicia Leslie as Batwoman, so we're going to go through that as well. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the photos from the set of Batwoman just the other day, and this is coming from Canada Graphs, who is a great source, he is a great ally of this channel, and I kind of knew that he would get something, you know, as soon as production started and as soon as they were able to get back out on the streets, and what do you know, he did, so go check out Canada Graphs' blog, where you can see all of the things that I'm going to talk about in this video, because there's a lot of details. That I will talk about but I won't talk about everything so go check out the blog also there is tons of photos from the set that you can check out I'm only going to be using a certain select amount in this video to give you guys an example and to talk about it as well so yeah go check out Canada Graphs he's also on Twitter follow him if you want to stay up to date on all things to do with our CW shows in Vancouver so all the behind the scenes stuff okay so without further ado let's go ahead and talk about this first look at the bat suit and we're going to talk about the headshot first which is released by DC Comics and Jafisa Leslie herself so I'm guessing they saw Canada Graphs's photos go around online and people started to react to the first look at the new Batwoman and so I'm guessing they just decided to put it out there we know that about a week ago or so I think they did a photo shoot and I think this was part of it obviously this is not a photo this is a video it's a screenshot from a frame that they were using and then yeah so this is the first look um i think she looks really good i think it suits her it very much so does look like kate kane's suit i don't think they've made anything big in terms of changes yet i'm guessing you know she's gonna get some changes on her bat suit pretty soon but it looks like the same wig it looks like you know the same suit and everything but you know apparently according to canada graphs what they've done is they have just resized it to be a bit smaller for Javicia Leslie because I believe Ruby Rose was a bit taller than her. So in Javicia Leslie's Instagram post, she said, look out Gotham, I'm suited up and ready to go, but just wait until Ryan Wilder puts on her own spin on the bat suit. So from what she's saying here, it does seem like she's actually gonna get a brand new bat suit with Ryan Wilder's own twist. It seems like what could be happening here is that you know, Ryan Wilder has been given Kate's bat suit and it's been retooled by, say, Luke. And maybe, you know, it's the exact same thing, but like just reshaped and she will get her new bat suit very soon. So that's why I think it looks so much similar to Kate's suit because I think it is actually like an alteration of Kate's suit. I think Kate probably left it behind. However, she disappears in the show. I think this is actually her suit and Luke's just changed it for her. But. Let's move on to the big thing. This is the set photos which come along with Canada Graphs' blog, so go check it out. But yeah, so we're going to read through it and then we're going to go through the photos. So last night I went to the Batwoman set a few blocks from my house. Of course, like the other night, I was there hoping to see the new Batwoman, Javisa Leslie, there in the Batsuit. Instead of her just as her new character, Ryan Wilder, like the other night, I did not know which set I was in for. But again, I believe it to be episode 2 or 3. So the photos and leaks you're seeing are from episode 2 or 3. So they've shot, you know, episode 1 already. They did a lot of that in studio. And, you know, I'm guessing they did some stuff outside. But not that much due to restrictions. So they're, you know, going through the episodes. And they're finally back out on the street. I haven't seen too much stuff filming on the street recently because of all the restrictions. But it's good to know that they're back out there. And so, yeah, this is like episode two or three. The other night, if you didn't see Canada Grass's photos, he got some photos of Javicia just as Ryan Wilder, but not in a bat suit out in the street. But now things have changed. And let's go on to read more about this. Unlike the other night, 
This time I got what I was hoping for. Javisa Leslie was out in the bat suit, which from first look, it looks quite similar to Ruby Rose's version of the suit that Kate Kane was wearing, except for someone a bit shorter. The scene they were shooting had a Crow security bus parked sideways in the middle of the street when I showed up, with a sports car parked in front of it. Shortly after I was there, I heard them refer to the car as something I was not expecting, the Batmobile. The car had motion capture tags all over it. I don't know what type of car it is because they conveniently had a mocap tag right over the logos of the vehicle. While the scene was going on, I got my first confirmation that Batwoman was on set when I saw her a couple of times near the back end of the bus getting prepped for a scene. A bit after I got there, they did a scene where the bus was speeding along the street before coming to a screeching stop to the position I saw it in when I first showed up. Okay, so let's quickly talk about this. So, on set, they referred to this car as the Batmobile, so yeah, it's official. This is the Batmobile, and I'm super excited for this. I had no idea this was coming. I did not expect this at all. Did you guys expect it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm super excited to see it. It has mocap tags all over it because they're going to CGI some of it, the look. Right now, it kind of looks like a sports car. We'll go over the photos in a minute, but... They're going to alter it to look more like the Batmobile in post-production, as I'm guessing they didn't have, you know, the funds to make a proper Batmobile just on set, because it would be very expensive. So, yeah, the scene that happened there, we're going to go over this extra bit to do with this scene. So shortly after the stunt scene, it was back to the scene where I saw the vehicles parked in the middle of the street facing each other. We then got to see Javicia out in the Batsuit, and then saw her do a scene where she gets out of the Batmobile, runs up to the bus door, demanding they open the door and get out. The driver obliges her request, only after she aims a pistol at the door, and Batwoman goes into the bus and goes into the driver's seat before the door closes and the scene ends. Alright, so the scene that is happening in this set that they were working on has something to do with the crows and because it's like a crows bus, and, you know, she literally pulls up, skids in the middle of the road, stops the Batmobile, gets out of the Batmobile, and she literally pulls out like her back gun or whatever it's called, and she points it at the driver, and she's like, get out of the bus. So something's happening, she needs to commandeer the bus, maybe it's some sort of prison bus or like police bus, and it's been taken over, or something's wrong with it. But anyway, so the bus is stopped in the middle of the road, it's a stunt scene that they did where, you know, the car screeches into the position, and I'm guessing it slides, and then, you know, she goes in there, and this is the first scene we've seen outdoors of her as Batwoman, and so she, when she gets out of the Batmobile, she runs up to the bus door, she gets in, she goes to drive, scene ends, I'm guessing after that, she's gonna drive the bus, but you know, they will film that another time, because that is, you know, a driving scene, so they don't have to do that right then, so there is some sort of conflict going on here between the crows, and whoever's driving that bus, and whoever's in that bus, and wherever Kate needs to go, because if she needs to speed along the road, she's just gonna stay in her Batmobile, she doesn't need a freaking bus, it's something to do with this bus. Anyway, so let's move on to the photos that Canada Crafts took from the set. So the first one I want to go over is this. This is Kate with a Batmobile, and she is getting out of the Batmobile at the point that Canada Crafts described. So the lights are on her, there is sort of the spotlight, it's rainy, it's very dingy, and, you know, this is the Batmobile, she gets out of the Batmobile, and you get to see Javicia with the red wig, like Kate Kane, like Ruby used to wear. She's got the suit, she's got the cape and everything. No big differences here, but then let's move on to the next photo. We've got, you know, kind of the whole scene, you know, there is a big light in the background, that's just to light the scene because they're filming at night. And you have the Batmobile on the right, you've got Javisa as Batwoman running over to the truck, and that's the point where she commandeers the truck. So, then we move on to the next photo, this is like our first, like, kind of full body look, because, you know, the official look was just a headshot photo that they took a still from. And so, you know, we can see her suit, her suit very much so looks like Kate Kane's suit, I don't think they've made any changes apart from you know, sizing it down to Javicia's size rather than Ruby's size. I think she looks really cool with the suit, especially in person. I really am looking forward to her as Batwoman. I can't wait to see if it's, like, really good or something, because I have a lot of faith. I want to know, do you guys have a lot of faith in this new iteration of Batwoman? I would be really, really glad to know. 
Okay, so then we move on to the final photo. This is just the Batmobile from a cool angle where I'm guessing it's in the middle of the road. It's doing that bit that Canada Graf said. And so she's about to pop out of the Batmobile and get out there. And so just the final thing I wanted to talk about going back to this headshot of a photo. You know, it looks very much so like Ruby Rose's suit and her hair and everything like that. But the big question still is, how does she become Batwoman? How does she get the same suit as Kate Kane? Does she take Kate Kane's suit from Luke? Like, does Luke give it to her? Do they know each other? Have they always known each other? And how does she become Batwoman and replace Kate Kane? I know she was inspired by her, we know that already, but how does she physically become Batwoman? And considering she's already Batwoman by like episode 2 or 3, what happens in episode 1 that literally makes her become Batwoman so fast? Are we going to get some sort of time jump? How is she going to become Batwoman within a few episodes? So I'm looking forward to it and I can't wait to see everything. I'm really happy there is the Batmobile. Can't wait for that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Batwoman videos over the year, as we head towards January where we'll see the premiere of season 2, we'll see Javicia for the first time as Batwoman. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it will really really help out the channel. Not much is going on right now, filming starting again, so please be sure to turn on notifications. Leave a like, it really does help so you don't miss any videos. And so, thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see.